this first demo, I want to show uh, our web form to enrich some data on a fellow called or a contact called Jack Rogers. We're going to go and get the uh, uh, name of Jack Rogers. We're going to go and get his title and maybe also it's just to get his lead source just to show how you can do a big list. So let's get started. First of all, I need a data source. So in this data source here, uh, I have already some, uh, some fields but it's missing a couple of fields that I just uh, mentioned like I'm missing the uh, title I guess that's the salutation that's already there I'm missing the, the, uh, the lead source okay and then let's take a look I have uh, first name last name the title the lead source that should be more than enough okay so next up we're gonna create a new doc config and the doc config is of type web form so if I go and get the web form, I'm going to say uh, enrich lead. Okay, I'm going to call this enrich lead as well. And then I'm going to say I, wanna, I don't want to save anything. So I'm just going to select base 64 here. Cool. That's step one. Um, of, obviously, I need some data sources. So I'm going to uh, add some .config data sources here new data source um, I'm gonna go for my contact data source perfect safe just one data source for now and then I also need an actionable I'm gonna add a new actionable the actionable is gonna be of type form butler okay and then I'm gonna call this actionable enrich contact so the class I will put the class on the uh, uh, on the academy, so you can just copy paste it from there. So the class will be Catmus underscore form dot actionable form build butler web. It's an after class, obviously. We're gonna make it active. Okay, in this case, I don't want to send any emails, so I can just leave all of this empty. Document action, use the text, doesn't matter for now. Uh, then the uh, doc config is of your, of course, I want to enrich the contact. I think I misnamed it to enrich leads, but that's fine. And then here, this is going to be the lead uh, field. So, uh, sorry, I have to collect the contact field, obviously. So, there's going to be a field called contact underscore underscore c as well okay for now that's all the information i need uh, later on in another video we'll show you all about how you can send it via email but now we're just gonna do it uh, for uh, focus on the configuration cool so uh, i have my web form set up now i can open the web form so click here and it will open up the web form editor and i can start building my form so maybe uh, i want to just have a little bit of uh, introduction here so i can put a text here saying something like uh, um, hi uh, please add data to your contact if you want to have uh, more information you can just open up this here the arrow little arrow that i clicked and then uh, later on we'll also show you how you can add variables here just to get some data from the data sources for instance um let's see so we're gonna add an, uh, a text field now for let's uh, do it the first name first name okay uh, we don't need a description i'm gonna say it's from the contact data source and i'm gonna select the first name field here so that's it, um, I'm gonna obviously say that the field is required, Foundation required. So I can already save, so that's step one, that's one field. Now just do the same for the last name. Last name, data source is gonna be the contact. This is gonna be last name, I'm gonna say that's required. Okay, and then I had another field that I uh, was going to add, and that was the uh, the title. Um, or let's go immediately for the lead source. So the lead source is a little bit special because this actually is going to be um, a drop down a pick list. So we need to get some uh, information about this pick list in the data source that we had. I'm um, just going to go to the data source. We have already selected the field. So that was the field 
lead source and I'm gonna copy this here because I'm gonna need it to create a new data source. Uh, because it's a pick list, I need a new data source of type pick list translation. And then here I'm gonna say lead source pick list. Okay, uh, translation ob object is uh, contact. And the pick, uh, the pick list field is the lead source. Okay, that's it. Now, next up is I have to add obviously this data source to my uh, doc config. So we're going to add the data source here, lead source pick list. Okay, save. And then let's uh, refresh this page. So now I'm going to add the uh, pick list here. So that's going to be a select box. Uh, this is going to be lead source. Data source is going to be lead source uh, contact and lead source. So uh, it's going to automatically know that it's going to be linked to this uh, uh, translation pick list as you can see over here. This uh, system is smart enough to figure all of that out automatically. Save. Uh, and now my first uh, form is ready. So okay, it will just have one, three fields. But obviously you see how, uh, how it will work. And you can just add the fields here as you would like. Okay, um, next up, I'm gonna go to my contact. Jack Rogers, gonna say edit page here. And on the page, I'm gonna add the component for a form butler. And this component is called, uh, C. Uh, formbutler.config selector. So I'm just going to add it here. This one I can remove. Uh, I don't have to do anything. This will be smart enough to know what it should do. And then I'll save and go back to the contact. If I now select my uh, .config, I can say create form button request and now the form button request is created and I will be automatically forwarded. So in this case I did not send an email, I told you already before that we will see that in another uh, video, but I can just now open the form or copy paste this URL or use the URL in an email uh, that I manually create, but in this case for testing reasons I'm just going to click it and open up the URL. And you will see that indeed it picked up the data, Jack Rogers, lead source web. And I can just say now this is a purchase list and the last name is Jack Rogers 2 and this is also Jack Rogers 2. So that's it. Um, if I would empty out this field, you would see that it's uh, uh, this was a mandatory field, so you cannot submit the form. So uh, I'm going to undo that and then say submit form. That's all there is to it. So uh, now this form is submitted. And if I would go and check out my new contact, I'm gonna refresh it. It will nicely say Jack to Rogers to. And if I go to the details, you see that the lead source is now updated to purchase list.